Hi, this is Victor, and this is a demo of the Auto Rabbit Breeding Schedule. I go to my file and double click it to open it. And as you can see, I'm using LibreOffice on Linux. But don't worry, it's an Excel file, so it will open for you in Windows also. And let's go to full screen because I'm using a small computer <coughs> okay the description the instructions I should say tell you a little about the program and what to do and what not to do full screen is not going to work. It hides all these. Okay, <coughs> start with the dough page and only change the orange spaces like this one here. That's the date of birth for the dough, the date of breeding, the number of kits that are born, and the buck. the description for the book. Let's go to and there it goes from dough 1 all the way to dough 10 because you can have 10 doughs for one book. Now we've gone to the buck page buck 1 and there's enough room for buck 2 if you want to keep your genetic diversity. <coughs> um, just change only change the date of birth for the buck and it tells you if the buck needs to be replaced or not. Here's the date of birth and here's the date of birth. So from there the main page which is up front so you can get to it easy tells you that book one needs to be replaced and book two does not need to be replaced without having to go to each individual page and also it tells you the number of kits born to each of the does one through ten and here <coughs> you insert how many does you har you can harvest or have harvested from the number that can be harvested when they become eligible to be harvested here it tells you if if you sell some does your possible profit if you sell the number of does that it shows. Now we have buck records so you can <coughs> register the number the the dough that you uh, bred him with the date of the breeding the litter number that he came from no the litter that that he had the litter size the bucks that you saved and the does that you saved and how much they weigh when you do so the dough record you need a little more information on on the does as you can tell from the dough pages earlier <coughs> litter the buck's ear number or the name the date that you bred them date kindled the day they were born <coughs> the number that were born how many you left or how many you added if you wanted to add some from another 
doe that had too many. <coughs> the number that lived is to being full size. How many juniors you saved from the litter and how many does you saved and their weight. The litter record each litter is going to have a number A, B, or A1, or however you want to name it. You name <coughs> the dam and the sire, the, the male and the female, the day they were born, the bunny ear number for each doe. You would put this info in and then delete it all. Tattoo I'm not going to tattoo. Most of us just want to eat. So this program doesn't concern itself a lot with the money. And the outcome. How many lived. Then we have a budget page. Now the budget page is not really concerned that much with profit and loss. Like most of the other programs I found on the internet. The reason I created this was because I couldn't find anything that gave me the stuff I needed for just raising to eat or maybe or maybe to just sell a few and this will give you the information if you only change the orange cells so here it tells you it get, if you put in the cost of your feed for a 50 pound bag and then it gives you the total cost of what it's costing you to, to uh, keep the rabbits and then it tells you how much to charge per pound and your estimated take if you sold seven um, would be a hundred and sixty six dollars and you would have to ask fourteen thirty eight per kid if you want to make any kind of profit so here you put in the number of doe cages and the cost for the cages it even has a place for the building and the cost for the original breeding stock anyway that's a pretty good this page was taken from uh, a Mississippi State University document and reformatted. I want to get that out ahead of time because it's not mine. I did put in the formulas for the feed and the estimated take and such. But this page belongs to Mississippi State University. back to the directions page and we are done this will only cost five dollars I'll have instructions in the box below on how to get to the file to download it and pay through PayPal thank you